Okay, here we are in Unit 1, and this uh, unit we're doing is Popular Culture and Mass Media. So you have, make sure, very first thing, make sure you have already sent me your blog, um, your blog address, uh, so that we have that, because all of your assignments will be going onto your blog. That's where I'll be able to comment, that's where other students will be able to comment, um, or if you have other family, artists, friends, that kind of thing, they'll be able to comment as well. So on your blog, you are going to have four different assignments that will be posted up there. You've got pop art research, and in your pop art research, this is where you're going to be researching what is pop art, who are some of the founders of it, um, what are some examples of that, what, why was um, the pop art movement even created. So you'll be going through and doing that research piece. If you have books on at your school that you can use, that's great, but otherwise I think primarily you'll be getting your resources from the internet to do that research. When you're done that, that will get posted up on your blog. Um, then you have a pop art that you're going to be using the program GIMP with, and we're going to be creating a, a comic book. Pic we're going to be taking a regular picture that you have. You'll choose the picture, and you're going to be um, using the program GIMP and turning that into a picture in the style of Liechtenstein. So. Um, GIMP is a program that's already downloaded on all of your school computers, so it's all going to be there. Um, there's tutorials on how to use it. Uh, however, if you are working from home and you don't have GIMP, GIMP is a free download, and there should be a link on the Wikispace for you to click on that so that you can download it if you're working on this from home. Okay? Pay attention to detail in this assignment, too, because um, on your blog, I'll want you to post up your GIMP, uh, your final pop art using GIMP, with the JPEG, but I'll want you to email me or send me um, the working document that you used with GIMP, which is different than a JPEG, because on that working document, I'll be able to see the different layers and techniques that you used um, through that. So there's two different things you have to submit, the JPEG on your blog with your self-evaluation, but you're also going to need to send me the working file of the GIMP pop art. And there, there's uh, videos or explanations of all of that on how to do that for the pop art. Okay, then assignment three is you're going to be creating um, a t-shirt, something that represents who you are or the culture that you live in right now. Um, we're quite now, I find, in, in the fads and fashion, those t-shirts and the different t-shirt designs are very popular. So that's what you're going to be doing is designing your own t-shirt. You can use um, computer programs like Inkscape um, or GIMP, or you can hand draw it right on a t-shirt, or you can just do a separate drawing that is meant to be your t-shirt drawing. Um, so you'll be doing a, a t-shirt design. <coughs> And the fourth assignment that you'll be doing is a 3D pop art. And in this one, you're just going to be creating a 3D work of art that represents the culture you're in now using some recycled or found materials that you have. Um, so maybe, for example, you create a tree, um, and then from that tree you have pieces of, of your culture hanging from it. Um, pictures of popular artists that uh, you like, or popular candy wrappers, or uh, fast food wrappers. Um, maybe you've got uh, a, an old cell phone, or maybe just a picture of a cell phone, something like that, um, creating that 3D pop art. So those are your four assignments. Uh, you'll be working on them away from the computer, but when you're finished with them, you'll be posting up your pictures and your self-evaluation of them on your blog. And then you have two discussion boards for this unit. You have the discussion board um, about fads, and you have another discussion board about television programs. So for the fads and television programs, um, they'll be open for two weeks. In your first week, I'll expect that you'll post your initial response to that, to the forum. And then in the next week uh, will be your chance to um, reply to and have a discussion, online discussion with other peers in your class about that same topic, about fads or television programs. Um, you can respond to them in the in the first week when you're posting your reply as well, I'm just giving you an outline or a guideline for how to do those two discussion boards. Uh, the discussion boards are on the Moodle course, and so that's where you'll go to get to those. Uh, but all of your other four assignments, your pop art research, your GIMP pop art, your fad and fashion t-shirt design, and your 3D pop art, all of those, uh, when you're finished with them, will be posted on your blog. You have five weeks to com complete this unit. Um, so you should be using your time wisely, but let me know if at any time in here you're having trouble, if we need to set up a video chat, 
um, or if we, I can answer your questions over the phone or through email. Okay.